Hey, what's up? This is Napalm reporting to you live from everyone's favorite farming location, the Ring of Bones. Now, there's a couple things I'd like to talk to you about today. Uh, in version one, we talked about just where the location is. Version two, I showed you how to make it better by going in and adding curse totems everywhere. Uh, today, I'd like to refine that last method. Uh, and add some lessons learned, basically. And we're going to go through this together. So first things first, there is a maximum amount of totems that can be up at any one time. I know this because I've had some in just great locations. But as people come in and curse me, uh, I notice that eventually the ones that have been around the longest start disappearing. So as you can see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight that I can see here. Let's count it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like I've got about eight up right now. Or is that nine? Does that make nine? Eight or nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. Looks like nine is the max. So, let's just get these guys out of the way. Nine looks to be the max. I'm going to do one quick run here. Um, let's see how high a combo I can get. Uh, I'm still using the very, very short club. Now, one lesson learned is club, of course, it's always better because it's faster, but it's also better because you're not knocking your totems down, which is a real pain in the ass. Also, uh, YLN and Pseudocide, this guy right here, he's got a troll up here. Notice that as I go through this combo, uh, one of his guys is probably going to explode and it's going to totally wreck my combo. So if you want to be a douche <laughs> and you see people that are... Uh, uh, doing this farming method, go throw some trolls, uh, witches in there. But uh, I, d I generally don't recommend it. That's kind of what was the precursor to me making this video, just to uh, show you guys what to do. So basically, you want to be doing a cleanup after you get to around nine totem poles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break, break the totems that I don't want. So this one's too far away. I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to try and get rid of this one in the corner, but probably I'm going to have to get rid of two at the same time. Come on. Is there a way to do it? I'm going to try and... Come on. I don't care if I get killed. I just want to break this. Okay. I got two by accident, but it had to be done because that which, that which one had to leave. Also, this one is too far away. We're gonna get rid of that one. And probably this one's in the way as well. Cosmo Cookie, I'm sure you were meaning the best by sending me these, but uh, unfortunately they were really in the way. Okay, so that's that. Oh, now I got this guy on my ass. Um, yeah. Next thing is, when you're like me and you've leveled up basically ascended and you've switched alignments and then you come directly to ring of bones to start farming like i've done here i am currently dark i'm currently void i think well and you take your one ring of bones left because let's say that you're a high level and uh i'm not doing the trick where you're trying to use a low level chaos player yet because i haven't transcended and i haven't been able to do that so basically, they just keep taking the spot over and over again. I keep taking it back, and then they keep taking it back. And then whenever I go too far uh, to the entrance, I aggro the guys. And this is really, really unfortunate. So one thing I might recommend doing is taking a couple other of these altars just to give the AI something to invade. Because otherwise, you're going to keep running to the situation where um, the AI is going to keep invading that spot over and over and over again, and it's freaking annoying especially when they're using a uh, long range sniper pew pew magic boy that can be annoying okay so what else um another thing that i commonly see 
is people try to curse me uh, too many times. So I really appreciate that everyone's, you know, uh, making an effort. In fact, I believe that this is the trick that's saving the multiplayer of this game because ever since I've been doing this, I've been talking to people, I've been making friends, I've been in party chat, people are sending me messages. It's fantastic. This is making the game way more enjoyable for me because everyone now has to kind of work together uh, to get the maximum amount of XP. It's absolutely fantastic. As well as it's uh, great to be ch ch trading uh, XP boosts and uh, whatever else with other people. So now the uh, maximum, maximum amount of curses you can put to any one person is three after you get to three uh i guess it starts rotating through the very first one that you put down disappears so if you start with like a warrior then a wolves then a broodling and then you throw down another one you're going to lose that warriors so make sure you're only putting down three then say goodbye to the person tell them thanks uh, hopefully you guys put down three for each other and then uh, call it a day. Now, I believe you don't have to put down three of the same kind. You can put down, let's say, a warrior, two wolves. I I'm, I got to check if you can put down multiple warriors or not. I'm not exactly sure about that, but it's worth looking into. I'm going to have to do that in the future. Uh, the only problem is you have to wait for the cooldown. And sometimes people are in and out of rig and bones so fast that uh, by the time the cooldown comes around, they've already gone. And the patients in this uh, area, when everyone's trying to get their uh, kills before their cooldowns cool down, it, it's pretty low. So generally, what I just do is I just quickly let out uh, a broodling. Uh, if somebody's talking on the mic, usually I'll tell them, "Hey." And a lot of people have actually approached me first, saying, "Hey, can you curse me?" So I'll give them a broodling. They'll give me one. Then I'll give them a wolves. They'll give me a wolves. Then I'll give them a warrior, etc. And when I'm doing it, let me show you where I'm putting it. If you look around, let me just zip these guys. You'll see that when I'm doing it, I love this shock. It's reaching up those guys way up over in the corner as well. Oh, and I leveled as well. I like to put them up in this corner and I have all mine over in this corner. And I'll tell the guys that I'm playing with, hey, can you just go up to this corner over here and put them? And what I'll do is I'll put mine all over here. Uh, I mean, all the ones that I'm giving to the other guy. I'll say, hey, just stand over there and give them to me, and then I'll stand over here and give them to him. The point is that we're leaving the middle lane clear, and if all mine are over there, then I'm not getting uh, absolutely destroyed by uh, all these wolves and stuff as they kill me. Okay, and as I say that, I'm getting destroyed. But <laughs> anyways, you get the idea. So uh, remember, maximum three totems. Uh, put them in the sides. And... Uh, maximum nine totals from any, any player so i guess with with three buddies you could actually uh, get the perfect setup the unfortunate thing is when anyone curses you after that uh, they're going to start appearing in random corners so if you get one that you don't like especially if you're at the uh, limit make sure to uh, just kill it and then hopefully the next one that you get puts them in a better spot okay so that's basically uh the lessons that i've learned um, I'm starting to think that this isn't really so much of an exploit and I really think it's saving the game. Uh, make sure that if you're on the forums or something that you make your voice heard because uh, I don't think this should be nerfed. I think this is actually a critical part of the game. I love it and uh, I hope they keep it in. Okay, so uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like it and subscribe it if you want these kind of videos in your newsfeed and uh, we'll see you later. Okay, ciao for now.